Hey guys, Josh of Tech. I want to show you a short video of how to check for software updates. This is the Moto X and the way that you're going to find how to see if you have like KitKat available or any other kind of updates is you go to your settings, scroll all the way down, go to about phone, system updates, and this is going to give you all your system update information and you check for one. And so there is actually an update. So we'll go ahead and install. It's going to power it off. If it hasn't already downloaded it to your phone, it'll download it. But most of the time it kind of downloads in the background and then tells you that it's available. So we'll stick through this and see what it looks like. So it'll take you to the boot animation. This pretty much goes for, or this process pretty much goes for about every device as far as Android goes. You just go into the about phone, look for that software update, and it should let you know if it's available or not. This is the Verizon model, by the way. All right, so it says installing system update. And that went pretty fast. So this update is relatively quick. All right, it's going back to installing system update again. So maybe there's a two-parter. We'll see. Be on the lookout of how to actually, if you are interested in downgrading your Moto X, I'll show you how to do that on RSD Lite, so be looking out for a video for that coming pretty soon. It's actually relatively easy to do. If you're familiar, if like you're a Samsung user and you're used to Odin, uh, basically the Motorola program is RSD Lite, and that's how you pretty much flash different firmwares and stuff like that. Pretty easy. It's not hard at all. So I'm going to pause this video and I'll be right back with you once this part is finished. Alright, so that finished and it took me right to the Motorola bootloader. And the bootloader changed a little bit. I saw the Motorola Google company. Aside from the old droid boot animations, that's actually a pretty cool one. It's too bad that the Verizon one has to stick on here, but oh well. Alright, then it's going to update some files. Basically any kind of apps that you get on there. Getting it ready for KitKat. Sometimes this takes a while, it just kind of depends on how much stuff's on your phone. Almost there. Stick with me, guys. No, oh. oh. Pretty much from this point on, there's not much else that you have to do at all. You just kind of let it do its thing. But I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like all the way through. Going through the settings, going to the about phone, finding the update, and then getting it updated. Let it go through all its programming and stuff like that all the way from start to finish. That way you just know what it looks like if you've never seen anything like it before. All right, we're getting closer. There we go. Now, some of the you know differences that you're going to notice right away on this lock screen is one, 
you can slide up. You see a little arrow there. You also get a camera shortcut. You just kind of slide it over. So that's pretty cool. And also the icons have changed. They used to be the blue. Now you got white. Um, I don't have a SIM card in here, so it's going to give me an error. You get some different sounds as well. So the top here has changed. It's all white. There's no blue anymore. I actually like the white better. I think it looks better to me. It matches the um, stuff down here. And so, okay, we're greeted with a update complete. So your Moto X has successfully been updated to version 140.45.5.en.us. And then got, congratulations, your Moto X has been enhanced with Android 4.4 KitKat, the latest version of Android. Enhanced phone application, new find my phone command, touchless control. Uh, and you can find out more information there. And you just hit OK. And you're good to go. That's it. I mean, that's how you update it. Of course, there's going to be different you know, looks and feels to everything. I have um, you know, a few apps on here. here. Not too much. Just been kind of tinkering around with this Moto X. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, I like the white look versus the blue. And of course, you're just going to have all your performance enhancements and optimizations and so forth. But anyways, this has been a video of how to find the update for your phone. This is the Motorola X. But it does pretty much go hand in hand with most devices with the process going to your settings. And just to confirm with your two, go to About Phone, Android 4.4. And that's, again, if you're not ready for a system update, this is what it's going to tell you. You're up to date. So there you go. All right, guys, if you think this video is helpful to you, please give a nice thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, you're going to want to subscribe. I'll see you guys the next one.